So the other 50% of the, um, of the uh, basic rhythm section, drums and bass, is uh, Jason Foster. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting, Jason is a keyboard player and a singer and a drummer, right? Yeah. That's kind of, but he just kind of picked up bass as well. Yeah. Uh, you've got three basses over there. Um, you know, just talk, talk about your concept as a bass player. I'm, I know a lot of it is, yeah. is what Tim talked about as well, playing to the song, playing to the artist and stuff like that. But uh, just talk about what you think about as a bass player and, and what your role is in the band. Um, the first thing I think about is um, are what are the notes? What are the right notes? What are the bass harmonies? So I um, learned the chords from, from Don. Um, and then the next thing I think about are what are the rhythms that the drummer is playing, in particular, the kick. So I'm constantly thinking about the kick pattern. And I'll literally, you know, turn to Tim and say, hey, what are you playing? You know, That's what are right. you playing for the verse? <laughs> what are you playing for the chorus? What are you playing for the bridge? And I, I literally just, you know, um, choose to lock with it. Um, uh, maybe you can do a song. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, uh, let's do a little bit of uncharted uh, territory. Yeah, is that make is that good for this? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'll. Uh, you want to? It gets it gets a little fancy, but there's a the thing to focus on is you know what's the theme rhythmically. So I'll uh, so let's do that. I'm gonna follow the kick pattern on this one. Okay. myself in uncharted territory never felt so lost never felt so lonely where are you Lord I'm so afraid I can feel the fear so, yeah so um in this case I'm I'm pretty much just playing the one one two three four one two three four one two three four one yeah so i'm just pretty much playing the one there and keeping it simple and tim has a bunch of stuff going on so um usually if if there's an instrument kind of doing you know a bunch of rhythms usually the rest of us will kind of dumb down so i'll uh so in this case my bass is playing a simple pattern and letting it breathe so that the rhythms come through. Um, and then the next section of the verse, I go into a, a pattern that locks with other rhythms of his drums. So yeah. I'm, I'm playing the basic root note where the bass lands, and then there are other rhythms. I'll make a bass line off those little rhythms. So yeah, let's, let's do the yeah. verse. Just go right into right the, in the verse. Yeah. Okay. The simple, I'll do it simple and then do the extra rhythms. Find myself in uncharted territory. Never felt so long, never felt so lonely. Where are you? Now, here you go. I'm so afraid. Can't control the chaos all around. Sing the Lord's song in a foreign land. But how can I forget? Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm locking with his kick and his snare. Can you play that groove for me one more time? So, 
Yeah, so I'm writing rhythms and writing, um, and uh, a good way to compose bass lines, a good start, a good training wheel is uh, uh, is learning other songs and learning instinct and learning sometimes uh, getting the help from musicians who are further along. So um, it, it kind of helps us instinctually. Some of it is instinctual um, and hard to teach or uh, hard to you know, break down. So, um, now you're, going you're, because you're a, a drummer, yeah, uh, as well, a drummer and a keyboard player. So, you're thinking like a drummer as well. So, I think it yeah. helps Jason lock in with a drummer because he was a drummer, right? So he knows what, what kind of bass, um, pe- bass drum pattern you've been playing, right? So, I think it helps you overall just locking in. Right. Um, with the background of being a drummer and a keyboard player, you're listening to all the harmonics right. as well. So, um, so I'm constantly thinking of the kick pattern. That's usually my main focus. If I don't know what to play and we're, Don's bringing in a new song, I'm, I'm very submissive to Tim. So uh, what some of the mistakes that happen between you know, drums and, and bass is uh, you know, if Tim does a a solid kick pattern and I accidentally play another rhythm, Tim might be tempted to switch to my rhythm and then I try to play what he played before and then we, it's just a train wreck. So what we do is, um, it's kind of unspoken, but Tim, no matter what, will stick to his kick pattern and I will follow him. 